Eight garlics and eight chile guajillo dry in the blender. Add a little bit of green onion and some sesame oil. This is just to marinate the fish. So the sauce to marinate the fish has chile guajillo, has sesame oil, has garlic, salt, lemon, pepper. It has eight crushed garlics and uh, a little bit of green onion and two squeezed lemons. And you let your fish marinate in this to get the flavor. Adobado. Make sure your fish is running under cold water and it's nice and clean and you cut these off. Or, or you can cut them off with scissors. This is mojarra. After they're nice and clean, set uh, aluminum or if you have a tray, you can put them on a tray. Um, make sure you do some openings with your knife on them on each side. And then uh, start adding your adobado and mix it throughout the whole fish inside and out and let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes to marinate. And then you fry and you got pescado adobado. I put this lid on it to carry a cake or carry uh, cupcakes because if there's any flies, they'll contaminate your fish. So if, if you're letting it sit and marinate, you have to have something that covers it uh, for 10-15 minutes without a fly or anything contaminating it. Spinach, carrot, tomato, cucumber, lettuce. Make your salad. Spin your spinach. Uh, unless you like to eat the stem. Otherwise, clean your spinach, take off the stem. While the fish is done marinating, it's almost done. I already chopped down my salad and I'm chopping down some mushroom because I'm gonna do two fried and one steamed. So I'm gonna add some, sh some mushroom to the one that's uh, steamed. So these are fried. And this one's steamed. I have a rack on the bottom. There's water. And the fish is in the center. And I've got to put it down this way. Because I've got to put the mushrooms with the sauce that gives it the flavor. The adobado in here. And it should sit in here for a good 20 minutes. In this mushroom and adobado, I stick some onions and rodajas. Make sure you mix it so it gets all the flavor. And then make sure that your fish and your mushrooms are really sealed in the foil paper when you put it in the pan. So uh, all the juices and the flavor stays inside the foil, the tin foil, okay? So we have one fish and the onions and the mushrooms steaming in a pot. Make sure you cover it so it steams. And these are frying. It's about time to turn them around. Fish gets cooked really fast when it's frying. So this one's almost done. And yeah, it gets the skin most of the time gets stuck, even though if I have a brand new pan. Mushrooms and onions adobadas are done too. This is steamed. Two ways you can do fish adobado.